um, how to define character loops in ZBrush, that's just going to be using ZRemesher unless you want to um, automatically do it, in which case, by all means, type in retope, and I've covered that infinity times in here uh, as far as like, you know, make, using ZSphere, using ZRemesh, and then cleaning it up with topology, um, manually plotting topology with ZSphere's, using ZRemesh and ZSphere's together. Uh, Spinner presenter mentioned zero mesh would make the edge flow folds follow the folds that's generated in Marvel's designer. It's not necessarily a good thing. What do you, why do you, when do you think that would be a problem? Possibly deformations. I'll have to rewatch that. I need to, I need to go back through and take notes on the videos. But um, yeah, if you use Z, if you bring in stuff in Marvel's designer and you use Z remesher and you have your adaptive size up, it'll build in the folds. Um, but depending on how your opt, if you have like a base mesh deforming underneath your folds, sometimes you want the topology to follow your base mesh or any, any animation reasons of why you would want your base mesh to not necessarily follow the folds. I suppose that'd be a problem. Or if you, if, if it follows the folds, but it's just minor folds or uh, tertiary reads and you just want to bake it in and not have the geometry actually be deformed by that detail, then that might be why. So is there a way to remedy that in ZBrush not going through Maya? You can do a uh, Z remesher with adaptive size all the way down and it'll disregard your edge flow and error on the side of making quads. Uh, you can also just manually go through and retopologize however you want using Z spheres or the topology brush perhaps.